I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Pirates vs. Phillies My team pick is Pittsburgh Pirates win Despite the solid performance of Phillies pitcher Zach Wheeler, the Pirates' stronger overall team stats and recent performances give them the edge in this matchup. Superior batting and on-base percentages, coupled with a robust defensive showing so far, should see them overpower the Phillies. Brewers vs. Orioles My team pick is Milwaukee Brewers win the Brewers' robust batting and solid pitching setup, especially with Rees low ERA, position them well for today's game. Baltimore, while strong on the mound, lacks the batting consistency needed to capitalize on its pitching strengths fully. Expect Milwaukee to use its offensive power and depth despite injuries. Angels vs. Red Sox My team pick is Boston Red Sox win Given the contrasting styles of play, this matchup promises to be a thrilling encounter. The Angels' offensive firepower, led by the likes of Mike Trout, will test the Red Sox's league-leading pitching staff. However, Boston's superior pitching, especially with Bello on the mound against an Angels team that has shown inconsistency at the plate, gives them the edge. The Red Sox's ability to limit opponents' scoring, combined with their potential for timely hitting, positions them as the favorites in this encounter. Rockies vs. Blue Jays My team pick is Over 8.5 runs These teams combined for 8 runs on Saturday and that was with the Rockies and Blue Jays combining to go just 3 for 14 with runners in scoring position. The bullpens were asked to do a lot as Toronto had to get 16 outs from their bullpen in this game while Colorado had to get 2 innings since they struggled on the road. These bullpens throughout the season have been some of the worst that we have seen as the Blue Jays are 27th in MLB with a 5.40 bullpen ERA while the Rockies are 29th with a 6.13 ERA thus far. Kyle Freeland has been getting lit up this season and Jose Barrios has given up a little too many base runners to begin the season. All in all, take the over in this game as it seems to give us some extra value. Braves vs. Marlins my team pick is Atlanta Braves win. Analyzing both teams' performances and statistics, the Atlanta Braves are poised to dominate this encounter. The offensive power, combined with relatively better pitching stats compared to the Marlins, gives them a clear upper hand. The Marlins, with the lowest on-base and slugging percentages in the league, appear unlikely to challenge the Braves' pitchers significantly. Given both teams' current form and stats, expect the Braves to capitalize on the Marlins' weaknesses across the board. Giants vs. Rays My team pick is Giants run line I'm picking the Giants RL as my side bet for Sunday's game. San Francisco's bats are bound to join the party against Alexander. The Rays' lefty has struggled in his first season with the club, allowing nine runs on 14 hits, including four home runs and 9.1 total innings. If he's unable to offer the home team with quality innings, the Rays' bullpen struggles will continue to mount. Snell didn't look like the 2023 Cy Young winner in his first start with the Giants, but he should pitch well with early run support. I predict Sunday's contest will be a get-right game for Snell and San Francisco. Royals vs. Mets My team pick is New York Mets win. The Royals have been on a hot streak recently, winning all of their last seven games, including a sweep against the White Sox and the Astros. This unexpected success has put them in a good position as they prepare to face the Mets, who have been struggling initially but are now showing signs of improvement. The Mets have started off slow, but have started to play better recently. Cole Reagans, with a record of 0-1 and an ERA of 2.60, will be the starting pitcher for the Royals in this upcoming game against the Mets. 
Twins vs. Tigers. My team pick is Twins win. In this upcoming game, Bailey Ober will be the starting pitcher for Minnesota, having yet to secure a win this season with an ERA of 12.79. Jack Flaherty will take the mound for Detroit, also seeking his first win with a 5.25 ERA. Despite Minnesota's recent struggles, they are optimistic after a recent victory against a tough opponent like the Dodgers. Detroit, on the other hand, will rely on their strong hitters to make an impact early in the game. Yankees vs. Guardians My team pick is Guardians win The Yankees have been performing exceptionally well this season, winning 10 of their 13 games. They have been a dominant force in the league so far. On the other hand, the Cleveland baseball team has also started strong, winning 9 out of their 12 games. Nestor Cortez is set to take the mound as the starting pitcher for the Yankees. He currently holds a record of one win and one loss with an ERA of 3.50. Cleveland starting pitcher Logan Allen is having a successful season as well with a record of 2-0 and an ERA of 4.60. Both teams are showcasing strong pitching and solid performances as they face off in this upcoming game. Reds vs. White Sox My team pick is Reds win. The Reds are showing they have major chops with the bat this season. Look out for Cincy to be a postseason contender when October rolls around. For now, we will take the Reds to handle the struggling White Sox with ease in Chicago. Rangers vs. Astros My team pick is Rangers Moneyline The Rangers have won two of their last four games and three of their last five road games. They are playing well offensively, scoring 20 runs in their last three games. Even though Javier has done a good job on the mound for Houston, the Rangers will play well offensively in this game because they have hit the ball well against right-handers and they've had a lot of success in recent games against Javier, scoring 14 runs in his last three starts against them. With Houston also having the eighth worst bullpen in the league, they will have a hard time slowing down the Rangers in this game. The Astros have lost four of five games and two of their last five home games. Despite their slump, they are playing well offensively and scored 18 runs in their last four games. But they will struggle offensively in this game because Evaldi has done a great job on the mound for the Rangers, giving up three runs and three starts. He gave up six runs in his last three starts against the Astros and will keep their offense in check. Go with Texas to cover the money line. Nationals versus Athletics. My team pick is Nationals money line. I'll take the Nationals in the series finale on Sunday afternoon. Nat starter Williams has done an excellent job keeping the ball in the park this season, and the results have been a complete turnaround from last season when Williams flirted with an ERA near 6.00 while coughing up 34 home runs. The A's would has been less effective, struggling with his control and coughing up hits. He has already walked five batters in just nine innings and given up 11 hits. The Nats hit lefties well last season and I expect them to do some damage against Wood on Sunday, a pitcher that does not possess dominant stuff. Cardinals vs. Diamondbacks My team pick is Diamondback win the Arizona Diamondbacks have an edge whenever Zach Gallen steps on the mound. Gallen is seeking a 3-0 start to the season as he will make his fourth start. Gallen won 17 games last season and may be on pace to beat that this season. Take the home team on Sunday. Cubs vs. Mariners My team pick is Chicago wins the Chicago Cubs are looking to bounce back after a very tough loss to the Mariners, while Seattle hope to build off a win over the Cubs. The Mariners have been awful at the plate. They'll struggle to keep up with Chicago's hot hitting. Expect the Cubs to take this one. Padres vs. Dodgers My team pick is Dodgers win. Yu Darvish will make his fifth start on the mound for the San Diego Padres. Darvish is 0-1 on the season with 18.2 innings pitched. Darvish has 20 strikeouts and carries a 3.86 ERA. Darvish has allowed 7 earned runs over his last 2 outings. 
the San Diego Padres are allowing an average of 5.1 runs against per game. The Los Angeles Dodgers entered the weekend as the leaders of the NL West with a 10-6 record. The Dodgers are 6-4 over their last 10 games and carried a two-game losing streak into Saturday. The LA Dodgers are averaging 5.5 runs scored with 9.3 hits per game. Shohei Otani leads Los Angeles with 24 hits. James Paxton will make his third start on the hill for the LA Dodgers. Paxton is 2-0 on the season with 11 innings pitched. Paxton has 9 strikeouts and carries a 1.64 ERA. The Los Angeles Dodgers are allowing an average of 4.8 runs against per game. The San Diego Padres entered the weekend playing better baseball than the LA Dodgers. Yu Darvish has not been as sharp as the Padres would hope. Darvish is still seeking his first win of the season. Watch for the LA Dodgers to get their bats going early and often.